we got? Europe, Middle East, Russia. Good. So this story is called The Bird Who Would Not Die. Now, once upon a time, long time ago, and far away, there was a king. And the king was dying. He was on his deathbed when his son, through the cave showed this hideous, horrible bird. Its eyes were kind of hanging out of it. Its bones were practically dust. Its ribs were showing and feathers rotted and worms coming out of it. The bird said, oh, I know why you come here. You want to have the waters of eternal life, but don't do it. Or look at me. I too once drank from this water of eternal life, and now I cannot die. I am doomed to constantly rot away, but never can death come, never can I end, and never can I begin again. It is a curse to drink the water. Oh, if only I could just die in peace and be reborn. Don't do it. But I have come to save my father. I must his life. Oh, don't do it. Or if you do, you will have him cursed with a fate worse than death. So the prince thought for a while. He thought of his father dying, and he looked at the bird. He thought of his father, and he looked at the well. And he looked at the bird, and he looked at the well, and he thought of his father, and finally he took his bottle and empty, put it away, turned his back, and walked out of the cave, into the light, went home to his father, and said goodbye. His father died. So make you think, huh? <gasps> That's what stories do, right? Moving on, what about those creepy, crawly, dark things or demons or something that scares us or, you know, demons that 